Hey friends, my name is Arpita Karwa and you are on your favorite channel to prepare for UGC NET examination. In this short video, I'm going to quickly take you through 8 sins that you should never commit before your UGC NET exams. These points might look very simple and generic, but mind you guys, we sometimes make very simple silly mistakes that cost us a lot. So even if these things that I'm going to share sound ridiculously simple, please keep a note of it before your exams. Before I start, if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and never miss a video. Because if you are a UGC net aspirant, this channel is a mecca for you. So to begin with, the first tip is to stay calm. It's very common for students to pick up their notes a day before the exam and feel lost. And this induces panic. While revising, in case you face difficulty remembering the points, take a deep breath and don't put pressure on your brain. This is not a time to panic or to cram. Focus on revising the topics that you have learned thoroughly and are comfortable with. This will give you the confidence that a major chunk of your syllabus is done. Friends, don't forget that our human brain can only retain a fraction of what you feed into it. But if you panic, your BP will increase, the oxygen and blood flow to the brain might get hampered and you might feel brain fog. Hence, it is very important to stay calm. Also, don't forget that no one can remember it all. All the competitive exams are about scoring more than the other aspirants, more than your own competitors. That's why we never talk in percentages, but we talk in percentile. Friends, the next thing that you should avoid is being around negative people during the last days of your net exam. People who put your morale down or people who gossip and who throw so much information at your side that your mind tends to get distracted. Not just that, their comments may hurt your sentiments in one way or the other, which might overthrow your entire preparation. One of my friends had this habit of calling students and asking them about how much they have studied. When she saw that a lot of people are better prepared than her, she was so overwhelmed that she decided not to sit for the exam the next day. This might happen in your case too. So I would suggest you to stop doing such things. This is the time when nothing should play havoc with your confidence. The third thing that you should note is that you should avoid junking before the day of the exam. I might sound like a 5th grade school teacher, but please make a note of it. Eating junk will make you sleepy and lazy and your mind will be less active on the day of the exam. In fact, I would recommend you that even when you're preparing for your exam, keep a strict tab on your diet. Consume salads and other healthy foods. Once in a while, junk is okay, but strictly no junking before the day of the exam. You don't want all your efforts of past 5-6 months to get wasted because you were sleepy on the exam day. The next important no-no before exam is leaving from your house empty stomach on the day of the exam. Again, this will create headache and you might feel brain fog. Plus, you might feel hungry throughout the exam which will not let you focus on questions in hand. Have a healthy meal before leaving your house. The next sin is wearing fancy or uncomfortable clothes to the exam center. Friends, make sure you wear only comfortable, breathable, loose clothes. We don't realize it, but our attire plays a role in how we perform on the exam day. If you are not comfortable in your clothes, you will not be able to give your best because of that discomfort. Friends, the sixth tip is not to carry anything unnecessary to the exam center. Make sure you carry only your admit card and required stationery. Please avoid carrying any expensive jewelry, wallet full of debit cards or money. If possible, I would even advise you to keep your phone at the home. I have seen a lot of students carrying unnecessary things and running here and there at the exam center to keep that stuff safe. This takes a toll on your brain and makes you anxious right before the exam. The next no-no is reaching late to the exam center. Whenever we are late, you know guys, a lot of physiological changes happen in our body, which takes a lot of time to get normalized. For a seamless exam experience, you need to make sure that your brain is calm, composed, and that will only happen, only and only happen if you come on time to the exam center. It is extremely crucial that you reach at least one hour before the exam time. UGC net exam is a big day for you. And for such big days like these, 
Can't we be a little more punctual and disciplined? Friends, the next important tip is not to forget to carry your water bottle to the exam center. Again, a tip that generally your mom would give and you would brush it away saying that I am a child. But on a serious note, it's a very important thing that you remember to keep yourself hydrated. Though exam centers generally have water bottles in every room, but there might be a case that your exam center doesn't supply water. This will then create a huge problem because if you are not well hydrated, you will not be able to focus on the exam paper. Have you noticed when you are tensed, your mouth becomes dry? This is when water comes to the rescue and helps you stay calm. So make sure that you always have your water bottle handy. And with this, we have reached the end of this lecture. I would love if you guys can comment down below exam do's and don'ts that you follow or you intend to follow. Also, 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 if you have any other topics that you want me to make videos on, put that in the comment section below. If you have any doubts, you can contact me on WhatsApp and I shall be happy to answer your exam related questions. If you are looking for regular exam updates, exam prep tips, important videos, you can follow me on Instagram. We put quick revision reels on Instagram and Facebook every week to help you revise topics. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very soon with another insightful videos. Till then, keep studying hard, loving literature and keep following arpatakarva.com.